Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Charmaine Marie. I am your angelic healing practitioner as well as your trauma recovery coach. So I help you to break free from addiction, overcome generational strongholds and curses, okay? So as you know, I am here. I'm back with another daily intuitive message. Please make sure you like, share, I mean, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay tuned in for more of my content. I thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and I'm going to be talking about um, basically how to pray the word of God, how to uh, work with your angels as well, because one of the healing modalities that we use is angelically guided healing. Okay. And we know that your angels are sent to serve you. So I'll help you to overcome past ancestral trauma as well as help and women heal their karma, okay? So, and I teach you how to basically heal from all the drama, right? And then, so you can receive good karma, right? And then also, I teach you how to work with your angels so that you can heal from all of this stuff that you've been through in your past so you can move forward and you can have a prosperous and successful future, right? So that's what we do over here. That's why I'm your angelic healing practitioner. And I have the foundation of believing that God sent his word, right? To heal us and to deliver us from our destructions, right? God's word is the truth. He says, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is the truth, right? So I came on here a couple days ago and I was talking about rejection, right? So I want to talk a little bit more about rejection, but some of the things that I'm going to be talking about on my platform is um, basically I'm going to be teaching spiritual warfare. So if you're interested in Soul Healing Academy, you're interested in learning more about how to heal um, your natural problems with spiritual solutions because I help people solve everyday problems, right? Um, if you need better sleep, if you need to understand and learn how to um, assist or I would say defend yourself against psychic attacks, okay? How to gain material wealth, how to gain spiritual wealth, how to, you know, basically just overall learning how to handle and solve your everyday problems problems, okay? Because we know that in this life, we will have challenges. So in the midst of your daily challenges, what I'm here to do is basically, um, I'm here to help you, you know, so that you can basically be equipped with counter strategies, okay? Counter strategies in spiritual warfare so that you can overcome all of this stuff and you can learn how to, um, basically, you know, understand Satan's devices, okay? We don't want to be ignorant of his devices. So what I found out too is that a lot of people, they go to church, but they don't really know how to fight. They don't know how to do effective warfare. So um, I didn't really, I accepted Christ when I was eight years old, but from there I was a complete backslider. And you know, like, one of the things that I had to learn how to do, I had to learn how to fight. Like I used to fight all the time when I was in the world, y'all. I will, I will be quick to fight somebody. Okay. Um, but as I progressively grew in my relationship with Christ, I had to learn how to, and there was this different seasons too. God will take you through different seasons in your life. He will teach you how to fast. He will teach you how to pray. He will teach you how to um, study the word of God to build that relationship. You know what I'm saying? So I can remember creating like a war room in my house for just prayer, you know, and then God had to take me on a season of um, not just me, but my my children too, of teaching us how to basically like eliminate meat from our diet. Okay. And I'm not talking about no fasting, like regular fasting. I, by the time I got done doing this training that he put me through, I didn't recognize who I was because I had lost so much weight. Now, thank God for the weight that I have gained back. Cause I'm telling you, I had lost so much weight, you guys, from grief. It was ridiculous. I forgot who I looked like. I was so small. So I thank God for this little meat I'm getting back on my body, okay? Because I wasn't even looking like myself no more. But hey, thank God for the new, right? Now, 
A couple of days ago, I had came on here and I was talking about strongholds and rejection, right? So some people may have, uh, may feel like you may feel like you've been rejected, right? So basically the people that I'm called to, so I know my niche, right? So anytime you do something, you have a business or whatever. Well, I know what a restaurant, because I had a restaurant, everybody eat food. So you know what I'm saying? You're going to have Tourist people eat your food and local people, right? But the people that I'm specifically called to, Angela Healing Practitioner, I'm called to people that have been brokenhearted. So if you brokenhearted, okay, and you don't have nobody, I'm here. God has given me as a gift to the world to be able to serve you, okay? If you've been through trauma and trauma has shut you down, because I know that there was one season in my life where I could not talk. Trauma had shut me down. I didn't know. I didn't have the words to say. Okay. I just sat there. I had, I got, I, I still got all my journals that I wrote in because I just was receiving downloads. God was just giving me stuff to do. He was telling me what I'm going to do. Like he was telling me, I, you, I went through a season of just interpreting my dreams. Like he had me go through. That's one of the things I do too. I do dream interpretation because you can have a dream, but you need to understand what that dream mean. Okay. So I do have that gift as well. So I thank God for the gifts and the spiritual abilities and the talents and all the things that he has given to me. So I have to be a wise steward over what he has given to me so that I can be able to serve you. Right. So I am also called to the individual who feels like they're, they have no hope or there is no hope, right? I can remember there was a time in my life where I was brokenhearted. I didn't feel like I had no hope. I didn't want to move on. I, didn't, I just wanted to stay stuck for real. I didn't want to do nothing. I didn't even want to bathe. I barely wanted to eat. Like I'm telling you, grief will do that to you. If you're dealing with grief, trauma, Okay, if you're trying to understand your karma, these are people that I'm called to, right? Because we got to heal all of this stuff. Trauma ain't nothing but drama. That's what I say. So also the person that has made numerous mistakes. So if you have made numerous mistakes in your life, you keep going down the wrong path. God has, you bump your head so many times. I'm telling you, you might as well just put on a, um, I mean, you didn't even tow up the helmet, okay? You didn't put on the helmet and tow that up, okay? God didn't told you so many times to go this way, to go left, you go right. He tell you to go right, you go left. You just a stiff neck person, right? You just do whatever it is that you want to do. I am sent to that person, right? That's why I'm here. I'm here for people that have been through similar experiences as me, right? So also, I'm here for the person that feel like they cannot be forgiven because you have made so many numerous mistakes. But I tell you what, God has a word in his Bible that says in the word of God, okay, the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. He said, I heal all your iniquities. He sure did. And I will heal all your diseases. And this is the truth. This is the truth. It's so many people that are walking around sick and they don't even take hold of the scripture that God says that he will heal all of your diseases. He is a healer. Okay. This is what Christ came to do. He came to set the captives free, right? He came to bind up the brokenhearted, right? So listen to this. This is why I'm here, basically, to inspire you, to comfort you, to talk to you, to edify you, okay, with the word of God, to help build you up in Christ Jesus, okay? Yahshua the Homoshiach. I'm here to, listen, I'm here to help you, okay, if you're looking for that path of hope of faith, and most of all, love, because love covers a multitude of sins, right? It does. It sure does. So I thank God for the love that he's placed in me to be able to answer the call on my life as a trauma recovery coach and an angelic healing practitioner to be able to come on here, talk and serve you, okay? Because this is what I'm called to do. So listen to this. 
All of this is to help you to endure until the end, despite your failures, despite the challenges that you have, okay, every day. Every day we're in the midst of challenges. We have something that we need to do. We shall always be forever growing, forever learning, okay? So there is a road called victory. Hope for that which is unseen. You got to hope for that which is unseen. Faith without works is dead. And then now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Okay. And the evidence of things not seen. So you got to hope for a better life before you get a better life. Okay. You got, if you, whatever it is that you need in this life, honey, you got to hope for it before you even get it. Just because you don't see it don't mean you ain't already got it. Because it's coming and it's on the way. It is on the way, right? All right. That's why the father says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Okay. So I'm here to bring you the bread because we know that guess what? Man shall not live on bread and bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So I'm going to be back with another video, you guys. And I want to get more into talking about rejection because this is something that people deal with. This is something that I dealt with. I dealt with rejection. Okay. Rejection will stop you from moving forward. Okay. And you got to get to that place in your life, honey, where you just have to, you have to, um, you have to say, Lord, you just got to begin to speak the word. Lord, I'm so grateful to be one of your chosen people, you know, to be part of a royal priesthood. You got to speak the word. You know, I'm part of a holy nation, God. I, a people belonging to you now, you know? So when people reject you, you got to say, uh-uh, I'm part of a holy nation, okay? A royal priesthood, you know, so that I may declare the praises of you, God. You're the one who called me out of this darkness into the marvelous light. You got to begin to speak the word, okay? Now, let me tell you this, and it says here too, um, you know, just like Christ, he came to preach peace, to those who were far away and peace um, to those of us who were near. Okay. So through him, Christ Jesus, we both have access to the father by one spirit. Okay. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Okay. So we are no longer foreigners or aliens. Okay. Okay. Seriously, but we are fellow citizens with God's people and the members of God's household, right? So we are built on the foundation, all right, of the apostles and the prophets. Yes, this is the foundation, okay? And with you, with you now, and chief, I'm sorry, in Christ Jesus, yourself as the chief cornerstone, okay? Now, the whole building is joined together, right? All right. So we too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Okay. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to be talking more about this rejection. Make sure you please stay tuned. Okay. For another video, I will be back with more information and more word, right? More words from God.